Okay, so I decided I'm going to do just one more evaluating limit example and the reason why is because this one serves as a perfect introduction to the next topic which is uh, average and instantaneous gradient as well as the derivative okay so we have to simplify this and the reason why we are doing limits is because we need to understand it in order to understand the next topic so if you can do this you should be fine with our next topic again we can see here we have h tending to zero so we would love to use this and substitute h with zero problem is h is alone in the denominator which means it's not allowed to be zero okay which in this case means we are going to have to simplify the fraction first and see if somehow we can get rid of this discontinuity okay to simplify this obviously i want to cancel the numerator and the denominator um, and to do that i'm first it first looks like I'm going to have to simplify this. If I do simplify this, I get 9 plus h squared, which means it's 9 plus h times 9 plus h, which, which gives me 81 plus uh, 18, I think, yes, 18h plus h squared minus 81 over h. Okay. And now I see in the numerator, 81 minus 81 would leave me with the limit of h tending to 0 of 18h plus h squared over h. Okay, and then I can see I have h's in both of my terms in the numerators. So I can take out an h so that my limit now becomes h 18 plus h over h okay here i see my h's can cancel and then i all of a sudden have no more h in my numerator and therefore i have the limit of h sorry not in my numerator my denominator of 18 plus h and i can see now my expression has simplified this expression is equal to that expression they are equivalent okay the only difference is in this one h was not allowed to be zero but here we are allowed to substitute h with zero and that's what we are going to do substituting h with zero gives me 18 okay and that is the limit again that means that when h is close to zero this expression will be close to 18. When h gets closer to 0, this expression will get closer to 18. And I can get as close to 18 as I possibly want to by just getting close enough to 0. Which means that the limit of this expression when h tends to 0 is equal to 18. Perfect. Next up, we are looking at the average and instantaneous gradient of a graph, also called the derivative.